Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for joining us today. We are checking out a very cool microphone to help us out. We have Moritz from Lewitt Audio. It's great to have you here. Hi. All the way from Vienna. Yes, great uh -huh. thing here. And we've got the flagship of the Lewitt line, the LCT 1040, which is a fascinating microphone because it's kind of a cover many bases type thing. Yeah, that's, that's true. So when we developed this microphone, we're actually thinking if there are no constraints and we want to push technical boundaries while still being analog in the signal path, what would be the ultimate microphone system and, and what kind of problems would we like to solve? And there are a couple of things that we wanted to address here. Ultimately, it boils down to we want to build a microphone that always fits, mm -hmm. that kind of improves the flow of the session because you don't need to swap out mics. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the goal with this product. Right. So some of the features that we want to talk about in this video are the fact that this is actually a sort of a dual topology microphone, if you will. There's an FET side to it. There's a, a four different voicings of tube. You can blend those together. You can work with them separately. I mean, it, it's fascinating that we have those two technologies coming together in one microphone. Yeah, uh, tube technology is, is quite emotional and, and very interesting of what people think how a tube mic sounds. Mm -hmm. So if you picture a glowing tube, some people maybe think of a, like a clear hi-fi type sound, other of a, like a very warm you know, sound. And actually everything can be true for tube characteristic. And that's what we built uh, in here. So we have four distinct tube characteristics. Clear, where it works on the technical optimum of the tube. Warm, that represents this you know, warm tube sound that people, I guess, associate with a tube microphone. Right. And dark, that helps kind of to tame overly bright sources you sometimes encounter when recording different instruments or, or voices, or also very uh, good on guitar amps. Mm -hmm. And we have saturated actually with some nice harmonics and, and some subtle compression. Right. And, and the cool thing is, if one of those modes, you know, is maybe a bit too much in that direction, you can seamlessly blend it with a like a crystal clear FET circuit and kind of find that perfect balance, uh, giving you basically limitless sound possibilities. Right. So we have a switch here on the, this is the power supply as well as the controller, a switch for selecting the tube voicing. And then we have the big rotary dial that allows you to sort of pan or blend mm -hmm. between the, the transparent FET and then the, uh, or the FET and uh, the, the tube voicing, which is a very cool idea. Yeah. And there's another cool thing uh, on the back. You will see there are two XLR outputs. Mm -hmm. One is always the FET circuit. So you can have that as a backup or just to, to play with. And then there's one mix that kind of outputs the tube setting and whatever you adjust here ah, in this okay. dial. So you could actually set this all the way to tube mm -hmm. and you could get a separate tube feed and a separate uh, Correct. Fat seed, Correct. Uh, feed out of that. that. That is very cool. And then you also have, uh, of course, filtering. Mm -hmm. You've got attenuation as well. But there's a secret that's sort of hidden in this power supply and control <laughs> surface, isn't there? Yeah, so besides all these functions, uh, like we just mentioned, and also like continuous polar pattern control and so on, we asked ourselves what would be actually a good way to control it. Because the artist uh, is together with the microphone in the recording room and the engineer making the decisions is actually uh, in the control room. So we thought, why not make it possible to kind of detach it right, and uh, bring it with you into the control room where you can actually make the best decisions directly in the sweet spot. And it's actually really cool to see how people use it now and that even people explore more the features of a microphone, even like polar patterns. We saw some, like if it's right there, you just try more and it's also not so obtrusive to the artist. Right. Like as if you go there, oh, let me adjust the setting here for you. Right, right. So that's, uh, yeah. Quite neat feature. Yeah, that, that is very cool because, like you say, you, you don't try those options when you have to walk out into the studio. And, yeah. and uh, it's also useful if you're recording yourself because then you can have access to that without having to leave the mm -hmm. position in front of the microphone if you're a guitar player or a, a vocalist and you're, you're working on your it's own. It's actually really cool. You can have it there on a, on, a, on a stand next to your mic right? and kind of yeah adjust it freely. Right, and it's just a regular XLR microphone cable that connects it yeah. between the two. Work, uh, works over the patch bay in any studio environment. Right. So it's, yeah, should, should be possible in any studio. That's awesome. Now, the other interesting thing, well, among the many interesting things, is the form factor of the mm -hmm. microphone as well, and the industrial design. You've got the shock mount here, and we also have the pop filter. Tell us a little bit about the microphone itself. Mm -hmm. So the microphone is a condenser microphone featuring like an externally polarized true condenser capsule, one inch. And it's also a multi-pattern microphone, so you can, as we heard before, adjust the polar pattern 
as you like. And what's very prominent here is the window where you can see the tube. And that's actually also pretty neat. Uh, like the tube lights up and you've seen like the emotion on the artist's face. I guess it's just yeah, it's just feels exciting good, right? and feels yeah. good and, <laughs> and they enjoy using it. And we always strive to make products that kind of make sense together as a system. So also there we have the shock mount um, with some, some, some carbon parts here. We have the mic and the pop filter that actually you know, attaches magnetically mm -hmm. so you don't have this big thing in front of your face. Right. And it kind of goes together as, as a nice system. And it's a dual layer pop filter, correct? It's a dual layer pop filter. So that's uh, you know very effective uh, pop filtering. Mm -hmm. So given the pop filter and the shock mount, is this primarily aimed at vocalists or where would you recommend this microphone be used? So I, I think most people will probably buy it as their main vocal mic because of its flexibility. It can be used in almost any scenario. So we used it on drums, uh, on amps, on a variety of instruments. But yeah, I think most people will probably buy this as their, as their vocal mic. But you can use it, you know, wherever you want. And actually, there's another pretty cool feature. With this remote, you can actually control multiple uh, microphones if uh -huh. you have them. Up to eight. Wow. But probably most people only use two. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, but for drum overheads or so, it's also fantastic, especially in, in the saturated mode. Right. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Well, let's check out some audio examples of this microphone in action. This time I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm gonna need two pair of shoes when I get through walking these blues. I'm walking to New Orleans. This time I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm gonna need two pair of shoes when I get through walking these blues. When I get back to New Orleans. This time I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm walking to New Orleans. I'm gonna need two pair of shoes when I get through walking these blues. When I get back to New Orleans This time I'm walking to New Orleans I'm walking to New Orleans I'm gonna need two pair of shoes When I get through walking these blues When I get back to New Orleans This time I'm walking to New Orleans I'm walking to New Orleans I'm gonna need two pair of shoes When I get through walking these blues When I get back to New Orleans This time I'm walking to New Orleans I'm walking to New Orleans I'm gonna need two pair of shoes When I get through walking these blues when I get back to New Orleans. Well, it's, it sounds fantastic. I mean, the microphone on any source, whether it's vocals, guitars, anything you put it in front of, having all those capabilities for tailoring the sound for the source makes this microphone so powerful. Yeah, it's, it's actually great to see uh, like it being put to use in so many environments. It was initially developed for the professional studio, but we see a lot of people, uh, kind of enthusiasts by this uh, for the home studio, project studio as well because it's really kind of the one mic that always fits right. and always works and it will last them a lifetime. We also give like a 10 year warranty on this product. Wow. And yeah, it's so nice because everything is so smooth and easy to, to do, run the session. And yeah, we're right. excited. Right, absolutely. And 
like you said, it's just inspiring to stand in front of it and sing or, or play guitar or whatever you might be doing. So congratulations on a great microphone, and thanks so much for making the trip from Vienna to show it to us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. And thank you for joining me today. We're with Lewitt Audio. We're looking at the LCT 1040. Fantastic microphone that you definitely want to check out. It's a great addition to your mic locker. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Sweetwater.